one after the other. It was like being stabbed and stabbed and stabbed again over and over again. It's unbearable. For Nabil, five years could well be five minutes. He lost six members of his family overnight. His mum, sister, brother-in-law and nieces. You know, there's that big gap that will never be filled. You can't replace something that was so unique, so memorable, and that will always just be a memory now. The Grenfell Tower fire claimed the lives of 72 people. Survivors and the bereaved expected prosecution, arrests. But what they got instead was five years of an inquiry. And now, 312 days and 300,000 documents later, the inquiry is over. There's a lack of clarity now, but the chairman's report in a year or so will give answers and recommendations. The counsel for the inquiry have themselves said that the companies have taken part in a merry-go-round of buck passing to mean that they've been deflecting blame. Now, this process in and of itself cannot determine civil or criminal liability, but what it can do is pave the way for both. The question is, will it? Barrister Imran Khan says there's evidence that race and unconscious bias are at the heart of what happened at Grenfell. There are 85% people from minority ethnic communities who um, died in the course of the fire at Grenfell. We've heard accounts about race affecting people's treatment. And I think that is the clear definition of institutional or structural or systemic racism. And this inquiry has got to deal with it. It's the elephant in the room. Yep, come towards me. But for Paulus, while the details do matter, they won't bring back his five-year-old son. Uh, I miss all of them, all of his, his things. You know, when... Uh, one of the things I missed is uh, well, welcoming me when I, I came to the home. For now, videos like this keep his memory alive, especially for his other son. He doesn't want to forget him, so he's asking me, can I listen to his voice? I'll, I'll let him listen to his voice. Uh, A parent who had to bury what, his you know? child. Time, they say, is the best healer for the bereaved. But sometimes it isn't enough. For now, though, all families can do is wait. Subba Chowdhury, Sky News, West London.